Hmm. Games Radar. Games Radar site. We're on a Games Radar. Radar, radar, radar. Yeah. This is Y Chromosome 99. Back at you with another one. That's games related. Uh, this one <laughs> involves the listing of games off the PlayStation Store, any any other digital store. Um, it is it's, it's, as you can see, it says, and just like that, one of the most beloved JRPG series out there gets even harder to play. Multiple Tales games have been pulled from the PlayStation Store. I'm assuming it is it means the PS3 store. But we're going to find out specifically, of course, maybe Dustin Bailey can shed light on specifically. So this is by him, Dustin Bailey. Not even a day ago this was published, so this is new news. <laughs> Good luck becoming a Tales fan in 2024. Yeah, I, I like the I like the Tales games. I'm not, I wouldn't call myself a hardcore huge fan. I don't play them a lot, lot, you know. I was more. Of a, I'm more of a Final Fantasy uh, fan. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I do like playing the Tales games. I love them. I I, I think my my favorite is Bar Basaria. The names always escape me. <laughs> it's Basaria, and um, there's an older Tales game that I like too about these childhood friends that group that that, that 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 one is rich and the other one's poor basically, and. Um, and there's a chick who has no past. And she's like a robot android type of chick, something like that. Tales, of, I think it's, I think it's tales of, um, not Symphonia. It's tales of, uh, tales of graces. I think that's, I think that's what it's called. Tales of graces. F. I think that's it. I love that story. I, lo I, I love playing that one. Like I said, I only have, like I said, I own all the Tales games, at least at least most of them, <laughs> and uh, th those are like the main two I like: Tales of Symphonia two and the uh, Tales of Graces. Those are the, t it's Tales of Symphonia two, Tales of Graces, and Tales of Basaria or Barissa, whatever it's called. Those are the three that I actually like out of out of the whole series. But yeah, like I said, I'm not a huge fan, but I do like playing them. But my heart goes out to those who are like diehard fans of the series, man. I just hope that they have their own copy or they downloaded it prior to them removing the games. Because if you downloaded the game prior to uh, them being removed, you should be able to still download it to your heart's content. Redownload the game. I mean, all you got to do is go into your accounts. Uh, as, long as, you have, as long as you have a PlayStation account, you can download as much as you want. So even if it's off your hard drive, I, I mean, I, that was a good thing to know <laughs> that you can do. But it's still fucked up when they pull digital games from the uh, store for any reason. It's still fucked up at the end of the day. I mean, man, I'm trying to buy more digital games at this point in time so i got too comfortable buying digital games because to make a long story short uh the the lock in my building was uh i'm not the lock the uh the bail system in my building was not working so because sometimes i would get my packages sent by us ups instead of my local post office and they don't have the key to the building so i have to ring your bell when your package gets there so i i decided not to buy any digital games I mean, I decided not to buy any physical games at that point in time. Even after I moved and everything was fine, I was still buying digital games because I became comfortable buying them. You know, and as you can, as you may have guessed, they didn't fix it right away. I don't know why they didn't fix it, that bell system right away. So I just kept buying digital games. And now I'm trying, now I'm trying to get back to buying physical games. I bought a couple of physical games already, which I'm happy. <laughs> Unless. It, it, it depends on the price and how bad I want the game or how cheap, super cheap it is compared to the original price. I would 
make an exception about a digital copy of it. <laughs> but that that that'll be fucking rare. But yeah, but Tails game is here. Lucky for that, that that these games are available physically, so and they're not that expensive as of now. The the most expensive games um RPG wise that 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 are available physically are um the the Altelier games for some fucking reason. They are super high physically. I mean, even digitally is, is expensive, and it barely goes on sale. The fuck, those fucking games, those Altelier games, barely go on fucking sale, which blows my fucking mind. It's it's crazy, man. It's fucking crazy. So it's unique and shit. Like I'll tell you, I'll tell you, Sophie is is, is costly. It's like seventy dollars or whatever the fuck. Yeah, but that's a video for another time for me to check prices on those games. But I, I'll tell you, the last time I checked, they were pretty fucking high. And they've been out for like two years. So it's like, <laughs> what the fuck? I mean, it's a lot of reasons why I buy digital. You know what I'm saying? It's a lot of reasons. It's a lot of reasons. People buy digital games for different reasons, you know? It's not just because they prefer digital over physical. That's not it. I think that's like the lowest reason why people would buy a digital game over a physical copy. If you ask me. But yeah, so moving on with this, um, it's sad when these games get delisted. I was upset when I found out that GTA Vice City Stories was delisted off the PS3 store. But but you can get the uh no GTA Vice City. If I said that right, let me say, let me say it again. I was upset when GTA Vice City Stories. What's the list? Yet you can get San Andreas. You can get Liberty City Stories. You can get GTA Vice City, GTA Three off the fucking store. But but somehow Vice City Stories, the one I wanted over Liberty City Stories, is delisted for some fucking reason. I was upset about that. You know, and I'm like, what the fuck? So I have to resort to buying a physical copy of, which is not cheap, by the way. So it's that's it, fucked up. Um, let's see. Uh, let's let's go on with this article here. It says suddenly a number of beloved JRPGs are no longer available for digital purchase, as Bandai Namco has just delisted a big swath of Tales games from the PlayStation Store. Holy shit! The PS3 and the Vita stores have dropped access to a variety of Tales games in recent days. As spotted on Reddit, the EU store or European store has dropped the Tales of Hearts R, Tales of Graces F, and Tales of Zestria. And the North American store has dropped Tales of Hearts R, Tales of Zela 2, I've double checked on the North America side at least, and yeah, the only Tales games left are the Symphonia and Symphonia Dawn of the New World remasters and the Graces F and Exelia double pack. For the old gen, anyway, the PS4 and PS5 library is more sustain, substantial with the likes of Zestria, Berseria, and Arise. Wow, that is crazy. He says, it goes on to say, you can, of course, still get these games on physical disc. Many of them are quite readily. And if you're the type to be playing the old JRPGs on PS3 or Vita, you're probably used to playing. No, you're probably used to paying the eBay tax by now. The more notable thing is that it seems all DLCs has disappeared with these delistings. Damn. <laughs> Alongside the general reminder that you shouldn't expect digital stores to continue carrying all their games indefinitely. That's just fucking sad, man. That's why I try not to focus on this shit. Like one day it could be gone. I mean, you you know it back in your mind. You know what I'm saying? Like like who's who like who buys a uh, a computer? And and you remind you constantly reminding yourself 
this computer's one day this computer's not going to work for you anymore. You have to buy another one in five years or seven years or whatever. You know, why would you want to continue to bombard yourself with that? <laughs> with that reality, you know, it's like it's like I'm like I don't want to think about this right now. I don't want to think about this ever. I just want to enjoy my fucking video games, man, while I can. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to think about one day the store is going to be delisted. One day this game is going to be delisted. One day the store is going to shut down. All this shit. No, fuck that. It's like I don't. It's like you'll never see an upload from my channel me talking about. Hey guys, this is why chromosome. Um, today's video we're going to talk about enjoy your games while you can because one day. Sony and Microsoft are going to stop making consoles. So enjoy them while you can. We're going to go to a digital age and it may be shitty for you because you like the physical games and all that. It's like, what the fuck? <laughs> that is doom and gloom shit. It's like you, you reminded people of something they already know that they don't want to think about. That's what you're doing. It's just like, no. <laughs> it's like, I'm not going to do that shit. Okay, it says, it's unclear exactly when Bandai Namco took these games down. The Reddit post link above is from just yesterday, but there was another post about one game missing from the digital store a few weeks ago, and there is no obvious reason for the delistings either. Wow, that fucking sucks. Shit, I've been getting, <laughs> I've been getting fucking reasons for delistings, which, which made me fucking scratch my head like, like, for example, GTA game may be delisted because they lost cop, they lost the uh, copyright for the fucking songs. That makes no fucking sense because what if I bought the game already? I, the, I, I'm not going to be able to fucking have it on my account anymore to, to re-download because there are a few songs that that they no longer have the rights to, copyright to. What the fuck? That makes no sense at all. It's fucking mind-boggling. Why would you delist the game because of that? I could see if they re-released it and the song is not on there. And it, you know what I'm saying? I could I could see that if they re-released the game, but delisting the old game because of a fucking song is fucking re is fucking insane. <laughs> I mean, it's already on the fucking game. You know, that really makes no sense to me. Anyways, let's move on. Um I reached out for further information and, and will update if I learn more. Tales games have been sp sporadically delisted from the EU PS3 stores over the course of years. And it's the lack of consistency in these removals that's perhaps most frustrating. Yeah, they remove like a little, then they remove a little bit more. You know, it's 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 crazy. I mean, I, I remember I was browsing the PS3 store. I was I was mind boggling on what games were there and what games were delisted. From what I've seen, from my experience with browsing the PS3 store, it seems the games that were delisted are the ones people are likely to buy, and the games that are still there are ones that people are not likely to are likely to not buy. That's what it seemed like to me. And I thought that was pretty fucking ass backwards. It's like, for example, Madden, let's say Madden, uh, the football game Madden uh, 20, let me see, 20 oh, Madden 2011, for example, may be on the store today, PS3 store for you to purchase. I mean, this is fucking Madden 2011. Who's still playing? Who still wants to buy Madden 2011? That's just for example. And I'm like, why is this game not delisted? I mean, I don't see people buying this shit. I wish I could give I wish I could give a, a a great example, but I can't. I've just I've just seen many games that are still on a PS store. I wouldn't be caught dead buying. Or let alone I can't picture anybody buying this particular game. I mean, or very, very little buying it. At the least. So I don't get it. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> but the games that are delisted, I'm seeing people buying these particular particular games. 
And it's like a fucking tease because once you click on the game, there the buying option is not there. And it's like the game is there, but you can see it, but you can't purchase it and shit. It's weird. That, that, therefore, you know it's delisted. I was like, damn. At least the PS3 store, once they, I mean, PS4 store, once they delist the game, it's gone. It's like it was never there in the first place. When it comes to PS3, it's still there, but you can't do nothing about it. <laughs> Unless they have DLC still for it. I've seen games that were delisted, but DLC was still there. But this guy here, this this person um, writing this, doing this article here, this journalist, he said that the DLC is, is not there anymore either. You can't even download the fucking DLC. That's fucked up. Yeah, it, it is frustrating. It's definitely frustrating for sure. Um, Let's see. The PS3 and Vita stores have been set to close altogether back in 2021. Oh, God, I remember that. I remember that. Woo, people were fucking like, what the fuck, Sony? You know what I'm saying? I even made a, I even made a live stream ranting about it back in 2021 when they were saying the PS3 store is closing down. Uh, so yeah, those, those days, those, 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 that was some, that was quite some, that was quite a time, you know? And I was far, I'm pretty sure I was far from the only one that was happy when they decided not to take it down. <laughs> Cause I, this was this was this was this was the COVID time where we got these stimulus checks. So I bought a lot of DLC from the store already before the announcement that it was going to close down. But I still have more DLC to buy. I still have more at the time. So I was rushing through trying to get the, trying to get as much DLC as I can before they close the store down. At the same time, I was running into purchase errors at that time too, which made it even more fucked up. So I had to wait until that cleared up and shit. And I was like, this is a fine time to give me a purchase error when I have to buy as much DLC as I can before they close this fucking store down. You know, it was a fucking headache. You know what I'm saying? And ironically enough, I experienced my first purchase error on my 360 after they announced in July of 20, July 29th that they're going to close the 360 store down. I experienced my very first purchase error ever before that i didn't get no purchase error from 360 store granted i earlier this month i did decide to humor it and see if it cleared up and i was able to get a uh to get to get to, to get a dlc for a game off that store so i don't know if it's still cleared up or not at this moment in time but i decided i didn't think it was gonna let me do it let me buy it but it did so but yeah, so there's a few more things I like to get off that 360 store for a close down anyway. But I'm telling you, I'm not going to buy a goddamn um, gift card because I don't feel it's worth the effort. They don't give a fuck about they don't give a fuck about me about my money anyway. So I'm not going to get. I mean, they don't give two shits that I can't buy more off the store. They're closing it down anyway. They don't give a fuck if they really cared. They wouldn't close the store down in the first place. You know, shit. They're trying to talk about. Oh, we're trying to make we're trying to make our games available for everybody. Even PS PlayStation owners, you know what I'm saying? They don't have a 360 or a Microsoft console. We're trying to make our games available to them because we care about gamers and all that bullshit. If you really cared, you wouldn't be closing a 360 store down, motherfucker. Do you care about the classic gamers? The, uh, uh, retro gamers? You know what I'm saying? Apparently not. At least GameStop is taking a good step forward. I bet they will push to do so. To, to even sell fucking physical copies of retro games in their stores. Like PS3 and shit. PS2 games and all that shit. First, they didn't give a fuck about selling retro games at GameStop. Now they give a shit now. <laughs> but yeah. Went on a little bit of tangent, but you get my point. The listing fucking sucks. Because <laughs> back in 2021, when PS3 and Vita stores... 
had been set to close. It was it was crazy, man. A video after video talk about how Sony was wrong for doing this. What are they doing? You know. Anyways, it continues. But Sony reversed its reverse course on that decision after a public backlash from fans. Nonetheless, Microsoft is going ahead with plans to shut down a 360 store on July 29th this year or 2024 and with publishers casually pulling their games from these legacy platforms, the future of this particular generation is not looking bright. You don't say. You don't say. Yeah, man, I mean, yeah, I don't want to hear about the cost of keeping the store up. I don't I don't want to hear about not enough people are fucking using it, which is fucking bonkers. Uh, I don't want to hear about none of that shit. Leave the shit up. People are going to become classic game collectors and they want their classic games. They may want to just buy a classic game digitally, even though they it, people have bought the same game digitally, even though they have the physical copy of the same fucking game. I've, I've heard people say they do. I don't personally do it. If I have it digitally or physically, I'm not going to buy the counterpart for it. I'm not doing it. But there are a lot of people that do. And there are people that are, are called retro gamers for a reason. There are people to this very day in 2024, they still play Sonic for Sega Genesis, the first Sonic game. You got people still playing that game. You got people still playing Nintendo games. Nintendo came out when? 83, 82? 1982 or some shit, Nintendo? It's 2024. You, got, you, you still got people playing Nintendo games. And we're not talking about old people like 50 years old and shit. These people are like in their 30s, uh, late 20s, playing Nintendo games. Okay? There are YouTubers who, who mainly play retro games on their channel. They're not even 40 years old yet. They play games as far back as Nintendo. Games that came out in the fucking mid to late 80s. Okay? These people aren't even 40 years old yet. Retro gamers aren't going nowhere, so why not cater to them by keeping up these stores with retro games? If anything, if you're going to make a fucking change about these stores, add more retro content to the stores to buy. My question is this. Once they remove the 360 store, for example, after they remove it, right, on July 29th, 2024, are all those games on the 360 store Will they be available on the Xbox One slash Xbox S, X, or X? Will they be available on those consoles, too, to buy digitally? All, I mean, like, all the games that's on a 360 store, will they, will they, be, will they be pushed over to the, to, the, to the latest gen console of Microsoft? If so, it's still fucked up. They shut down a 360 store. But at, but at least you can still purchase them on your latest Xbox console. At least. Do we at least get that? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Holy shit, Microsoft. Man. Okay, let me see what let's see what more he says. Uh oh, that's it. Yeah, this that's the end of the article. Uh I don't think I don't think. There's any comments here because some article has a comment section. I was going to go through the comment section a little bit. I don't think it has a comment section. Because I would love to see what people are, what comments people are saying about this. About this, uh, tales of, especially tales of, tales fans. Because I'm assuming if you were a tales fan today, I'm assuming if you are, right, you at least own most of them now, at least all the classic Tales games by now at this point, if you're a fan. And if you are a new fan, I'm sorry, 
Maybe you didn't get around to buying the digital version of these older tail games yet, but at least you can buy them physically. They're not that expensive. You know, so online, you know what I'm saying? So you got to do that. You got to resort to doing that. Especially if, if you if you're the type that prefers digital over physical, so. But yeah, that's that's just a grim reminder that we shouldn't expect these games to be lasting forever on these stores, man. Because I've heard other games that that's likely to be be listed. You know what I'm saying? I wish I could give an example of what particular game. But yeah, I've heard about some more of the listings coming, so it's like, <sighs> such as Mortal Kombat. Um, yeah, that's one Mortal Kombat. Uh, eleven, or was it ten? Mortal Kombat ten. Well, I think it's Mortal Kombat ten. That it was talks about them to the listing that. You know what I'm saying? Like, what the fuck? But yeah, it's 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 fucking crazy, man. It's fucking it's fucking insane. Um. Uh, it's 26 minutes in. It's a good time, and this is going to be a short one. <laughs> it's going to be a short one. So, yeah, um, I already got nothing else to say about this. It's fucked up. What can I say? Uh, I just thought this article was interesting. I just thought I'd share it. And, uh, yeah. I mean, my goal is not to share... Um, like like screenshot and talk about game related articles just off this is ha this is just by happenstance that I'm talking about game related shit you know we something happy to talk about of course cuz at the core of my channel is a gaming channel at, at its core so but yeah I mean I I want to talk about other things not, that's not game related too as well you know like what's happening in the news or and screenshot that and talk about that as well, but but yeah, I'm happy to talk about games, man. I'm gonna talk about games all day. <laughs> Shit, but I like to branch out as well. You know what I'm saying? That's it's, it's a, it is a variety channel. I talk about all type of shit on here. And if you look at my library, you can see what I'm talking about. And my favorite thing to do on this channel is game and streaming. So yeah, I love doing that shit. I might do it again today. So. <laughs> Oh, I, I so I love it so much, game streaming. Holy shit! I've been gaming since I was nine years old, and ever since then, my life pretty much changed. You know, I, I mean, I I fell in love with gaming. What can I say? When my sister bought, my older sister ended up giving us a uh, a Nintendo. My brother's about what three or two. He was about three or two at the time, so he was kind of young to play games. So it was me and my uncle that would play them, and I was like nine. And my mom was telling me, "Your sister's gonna bring you something." I was like, "What is it?" <laughs> and she was like, "No, it's a surprise." I was like, "I was like, okay," because before then I played games like I play I only play educational computer games like like one in particular was called Socrates. I played that, but I wasn't like an avid player. I didn't play it a lot, you know. what I'm saying I played like off and on growing up. But but yeah, so I don't know if I heard about the Nintendo before I got my copy of it or by or my console of it. But I did know, but I but I was drawn to it when she booted it up and was playing Super Mario Brothers, which is the first one, which is my first game, Super Mario. Uh and and uh I was I was I, I remember I was just glued to the screen. I was like, ooh, ooh, I wanna play, I wanna go, ooh, where's when is my turn, you know? But, and before I knew it. I was hooked before I realized because especially after we used to go to this video store and rent games, we rented a lot of games and we used to take them and play them and try to beat them before they would do back. It got to the point one time we owed up to, uh, I think it was $48 and 
and late fees because we kept a game too long. I think it was forty eight dollars. I remember. <laughs> I remember I was. I remember when, when my uncle told me and my brother that. This is some years later, by the way. This is back when we, we when the Sines came out and shit like that. We had Sines. We were older at this point, and we were renting video games. And and I was waking up because <laughs> me and my brother had a bunk. But I think I was sleeping on the bottom, but the top bunk. I think it was the bottom bunk. I think I think I was sleeping on the bottom bunk, and I was just waking up, and I ain't got out of bed yet. And then, um. My uncle comes in a room. He's like, "Is it okay, guys? You guys are up." I was like, "Yeah." My brother was like, "Yeah, what's up?" And he was like, "Well, here it is. We owe forty eight dollars." They said we cannot rent any more games out that out that video store until we pay off the amount. I didn't have a job. My brother didn't have a job, so I'm thinking, like, dude, that's on you. I don't have any fucking money. You know what I'm saying? I'm a fuck. I'm just a kid. I'm like, how I forgot how old I was. I was about what? 12 at the time or 11 or 12. <laughs> and I'm like, I don't got a job, man. I don't, I don't got no income. <laughs> My brother, he's what the fuck? He's a kid too. What the fuck? He was like five or six years old. He was like, he was like, it's like, what the fuck you want me to do? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> Suffice it to say, we never paid that fee off. They, they never got it. Eventually, the video store closed down some years later, and and that was the end of that. There was no more written games. <laughs> so. So yeah, I just thought I'd reminisce on my love of game and how I got started. You know, so so yeah. Um, happy gaming, y'all. What can I say? And then pre and uh, <laughs> I don't know how I really have any final words to say, but the happy gaming. With that being said, this is why Chromosome signed the fuck out. Peace and love. Good health to you all. And be safe out there. Peace. I'm out. <laughs>